Yeah, the engineers did do something good. See how they have the firing order right there on top in the front? And they actually labeled each cylinder. Two, four, six, eight. The other side, the one, three, five, and seven. All right, hopefully this shows a little better. Now the big differences that I'm noticing between these two spark plugs, spark plugs is the electrode length right here. So I don't know how that's gonna affect the computer. It might run a little funky the first time I fire it up, but the engine might uh, correct it. But as you can see how rounded off this electrode is, yeah, that's not a good look. Should have totally replaced these a long time ago. You can see how this one is squared off. That's how it should look. So we should also, you also want to pay attention to the color. Um, the easiest way to tell you to do is get a Chilton manual or Haynes manual and it can tell you exactly how to read the coloration because it might be covered in black which means it's running too rich. Um, this actually, considering how many miles on it, they're not bad. So I'm pretty impressed with them and uh, not overly corroded or anything like that especially considering the abuse I put them through. So, get a Chilton's manual or Haynes manual or just look it up on the internet. I'm sure somebody's got a picture of it already posted up. Also, I thought I'd show you this. When you take uh, spark plugs, if you don't change them, they wear down. Look at that .006. It should be .004. So, it has gapped itself 50% more than what it should be. So, another reason to keep these changed regularly. Alright, got it all back together. It might run rough the first time you fire it up, or actually the first couple times. Just simply based on the computers used to that really bad gap on those spark plugs.